What's up, everybody? Welcome back to BCG Plays Motherfucking Bro Force. My name is Barry Courtney, and I am your bro for today. Let's get broy. Let's get brofical. Brofical. Let's get brofical. Brofical. That was my take on let's get physical, but with the word bro. What the fuck was that? Ah, didn't like that. Didn't like that whatsoever. Huh. So, as some of you may know, I'm recording this on Thursday. You know what today is? Today is March 24th, 2016. Fuck. I thought I was going to be far away for that. Or far enough away. Um, anyway. Oh, there we go. There goes Pookie. Pookie's going poopy. He's the worst pooper in the history of poopers. Because he gets very obsessive about... Wait, what's going on here? Who are these people? Oh, are they like my backup dudes? Are they my backup bros? Um, anyway, po Pookie is like one of the worst poopers ever because he gets like so insecure about his poop that he gets obsessive about covering it up after he poops. And there's nothing wrong with that. He, you're allowed to be a little, you know, a little wary of your poop smell, you know. But the problem here is he gets so obsessed with covering his own poop that he'll cir cir circle around, do this whole circle thing. Like he's doing right now. Like he's probably covering himself in shit right now. Because he'll constantly... What the fuck? He'll constantly circle around. And doing that, he ends up stepping in his own poop. Because he's get so, he gets so obsessive, you know? I'm a little worried about the quality of his, uh, his paws right now. Alright, who's this? Fuck, man, you give me this guy? This guy of all people? This is who you give me? Yeah. Let's just let... Oh, oh. I'm not liking this. Oh, there's another guy up here. Ooh. Come on. Be helpful. Yes. All right, Rambro. Let's do this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So this is the thing been firing shit at me the, the entire time. All right, Rambro. Oh, shit. Okay. Dread, really? We couldn't get anybody else. Ooh. This was useful. Ooh. Ooh. How does it not fucking know where I am? It's like a glitch in the Matrix. All right, there we go. Area motherfucking liberated. Yeah, I'm a little scared of Pookie's condition right now. Because, you know, he does this. He loves to fuck with me whenever I record Let's Plays, you know? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, Pookie. Come on. Give me a break every once in a while, you know? Give a brother a break. Paws are probably covered in shit. What was I talking about earlier? I'm excited for Blink-182. Some 41 deserves a comeback. Green Day doesn't. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Batman v Superman. Coming out today. Really excited. Um, our review should be up by the time that you're watching it. If, if it isn't, I'm either dead or near death. Uh, I'm I'm interested in seeing this. You know, it, it it's weird. It's weird, especially because if you're watching this, you've probably seen the movie, or maybe you haven't. I don't know. I assume that you have. But anyway, it's like these are innocent guys, right? Yeah. These are like my bro bros. Come on, bros. Um.
I sent my bros in on a suicide mission. I feel really bad now. Um, it's interesting because like the last time we've seen Batman on screen was The Dark Knight Rises, and that wasn't the perfect ending to that trilogy, but I really liked it. And I still don't know how I feel about because Batman is obviously the person I care about most in this situation because. He's my bro, and he's also my one of my favorite comic book characters of all time. So, um, so I of course I want to see him, people do him justice. I want to see Ben Affleck, like I I remember saying the first time hearing that Ben Affleck was cast as Batman. I thought he was gonna do an awful job, but then the trailers came out. It didn't seem as bad as I thought it was gonna be, and so of course I want him to do Batman justice. I want to see him kick ass as Batman, but I, I just don't know. Now, what's Arnold's thing do? Oh, shit, dude. Holy shit. That's really cool. That was scary, too. Props to, props to that power up right there. I don't really like the shotgun one in this. I'm usually, I'm usually not against a shotgun. But this one is just, ugh. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you, dog. I sort of want to go back. I don't want to waste my time on the devil just yet. Yeah. Oh boy. What the fuck? Yeah, all right. That was that wasn't scary. Got that dude like a bad habit. Yep, yep, yep. All right. All seems to be in order. Yeah, fuck you, dude. There we go. Recruit more bros. Oh, shit. I accidentally killed one of them. Fuck. That was scary. I did not know how that was going to turn out. Alright, bro. Braid, bro. The devil is laughing at me. Like a little bitch. But look at me. Fuck him up. Yeah. We can't let the devil win. Fuck the devil. Is this my second or is this my third let's play? I easily lose track of time. It is my third. I'm not too sure. It is. Um, but yeah, it's... Because I, I didn't hate Christian... Sorry, I'm jumping back and forth between thoughts here. Going on an empty stomach. I just want to get these fucking let's plays... Let's plays done and then I can fucking eat. Anyway. I liked. I didn't hate Christian Bale. I thought he was a good. He was a good Bruce Wayne, not a great Batman. Uh, because how I interpret Batman is that, at least in the comic book version, is that he isn't Bruce Wayne anymore. Like he is sort of the sociopath who calls himself Brochetti. Fuck, that's cool, but I don't think I'm gonna like his. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, he also. Sh oh, he throws up. Oh, I don't hate this. This is sort of what I wanted I wanted Blade to do. Anyway. Um It's just Christian Bale was a good Ben uh, uh he was a good Ben Affleck. He was a good good Bruce Wayne. He was an alright Batman. Like he was Good, like, the way they interpreted his character is that he's still, like, cool, calm, and collected, like, all the time, and he's not actually a sociopath. Uh, he just likes to, f he's, like, a cool guy who just likes to fight crime. That's how they interpret him in that entire series. Um, 
which is all right, but that that isn't Batman. You know, Batman is this guy who calls himself Batman. He doesn't think he is Bruce Wayne anymore. He he's as crazy as the rest of his villains, much like the Joker sees, and uh, they just didn't do that. So I hope that's how they interpret Batman. Uh, I've I've haven't gone into full reading of reviews uh, for this movie. I just know the critical general critical reaction to it so far, which is. Critics don't like it, fans love it, um, which I'm open to. You know, I'm open to to see that kind of shit go down, just as sort of fan service. But I'm scared that my pretentious movie critic mind is going to judge the way this movie has uh, been produced too much. Because I was watching Man of Steel last night. I just remember Man of Steel just being a little boring. You know, I, I didn't think it was, like, awful... I remember, you know, falling asleep for, like, 10 or 20 minutes. It was, like, the second big, like, fight scene. Uh, the one that actually takes place in Metropolis and not Smallville. Um, I remember, you know, falling asleep for a little bit. And I didn't hate it, but it was just, like, it, it didn't really interest me. And I, watching it last night, I was, I was going in. I was like, all right, I, let's have sort of low expectations here. Maybe I'll enjoy it a little more, you know? I went in trying to just have a good time. I could. It was Man of Steel is so fucking bad. Like I, I don't even remember being this bad. And it like bums me. It bums me out. So it makes me a little scared for Batman v Superman. Cause I again I want to go into it just having fun, but I'm scared that the filmmaking itself and not even just like the fan service. I don't think the fan service is gonna be enough for me. To enjoy it and that's what I'm scared of but I want it to be enough you know I want it to be a fun time where I can just enjoy the dumb shit that's going on and not be so upset about bad cinematography bad directing bad editing I don't want to have to focus on or like I don't want to focus on it but I'm scared that I, I still am like it, it, it's hard to just shut that off because I know you're probably thinking like if you don't want to focus on it, then don't focus on it. It's hard to turn off. So, hopefully, hopefully I have the ability to turn it off to, uh, tonight when I go see it. And uh, we should have a review video up by the time that you are watching this. Whoop! Area liberated, bitches! Alright, join me tomorrow for some more motherfucking bro force. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, join me tomorrow for some more bro force. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific, or not 9 a.m. Why do I keep saying 9 a.m.? 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Remember, our, our Let's Plays go up every weekday. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a bro-filled day filled with bro-like things, much like bro-force. Thank you.